Hey everybody, good morning. We're vlogging today on our way <laughs> to the doctor for the third visit since this broken arm. Yep, good job, Dad. Y'all just throw that ace bandage away. We do. Um, most of them are so dirty, they're not worth keeping. And um, they get so worn out that we just throw them away. Unless y'all want to keep them. The other ones are there already, but... <laughs> yeah. Bruised, a little bit swollen. Really? Okay, we're gonna go right across the hall here and get you x-rayed. If you want to bring everything with us, um, we'll go to a different room afterwards. Let's see if I can straighten it. I shouldn't. Uh -uh. That x-ray was way less painful. It was super easy. Look at that bruise. Really? Purple? Yellow? Still broken. I just don't want to put that thing back on. I want to get the brace. Yeah. Doubt that's happening. We're getting the splint off. Yay. Also, I just watched the video for, that you took. It's so bruised. That's sick. I had no idea it was that bruised. I'm just happy to have the sling off. And not the sling, but the splint. Now, Making moves. About the arm dropping, that's gravity. That's I know. what you're wanting. Yeah. You want gravity. Look at that. I know. Okay. Is that too tight? Yeah, she's pinching my skin. Oh, sorry. I definitely, I can feel it in my elbow. It looks like a robot. Yeah, I won't be able to just walk around with this. No, you gotta hold your arm up. Yeah. You're a few weeks probably from still letting it just walk around with that brace. Yeah. I do need to work on my posture though, because it's like, it feels better to just do that. Like Papa. Start seeing like the formation of bone in between it. Yeah. And As opposed to my last trip here, that was way better. No painful x-rays. And I got the stupid splint off. Now I just like look like a robot. You still got x-rays, did they not hurt? They just weren't as painful. The positions weren't nearly as painful. She only put me in two. Well, this is weird. I'll have to go into Treehouse. Breakfast with Dad. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Alrighty, I'm on my way to the gym. I'm actually really looking forward to this workout because. Previously, I had to be aware of how much I was sweating because of that other contraption on my arm. Did not feel good when it got sweaty. So this one doesn't matter how much I sweat. And I can't wait. I still can't use it, but that's okay. We're making moves. It's getting better. It's all that matters. Okay, please ignore the fact that I look like duty, but please look at my hand. It's grossing me out. Do you see how big it is? Yeah, so that is a tad bit concerning. Um, I think it's just cause like, you know, the blood hasn't been 
in it. So um, hopefully it doesn't last long, but I'm gonna make a smoothie because I just finished my workout and I'm very hungry. Hello everyone. I am on my way to a facial and I'm so excited about it. I haven't really been able to like, you know, get in there, get in my pores and all that. So I'm getting a Hydra facial and I just, I know I'm gonna feel like a whole new person after. Oh, great. Okay, I am back from my facial and let me just tell you, I feel like a new person. I went to this place called Identity in Conroe and it was amazing. It was one of the best facials that I've ever gotten. She did lymphatic drainage and obviously she couldn't do much because I like couldn't take my shirt off. My skin just feels so plump. The Hydra facial just like is unbeatable. Look at the glow. I mean, yeah, so um, if you're in Conroe, highly recommend that spot. Obviously, I, I put it, the name of it. Her name is Victoria. She was really, really good. Made me feel super comfortable. Sometimes when you get a facial, it's very uncomfortable because they make you feel like you don't know anything about skincare or that you're treating your skin poorly when really we're all just trying to find affordable ways to take care of our skin and sometimes it's really expensive and they're always trying to pitch their prescription products and it's like bruh i cannot spend that much money on skincare so anyways she was so good it made me feel so comfortable and complimented my skin which like doesn't happen often and if you have known me for a while, I have super problematic skin. Like I struggled with acne for most of my childhood and teenage years. I went on Accutane, Whew, I've been through it. I'm still going through it, honestly. Just, it's not acne, it's just sensitive skin. So yeah, I have really problematic, sensitive skin and facials really help me. I can show, you know, some of the skincare products that I use, so. I am going to head out and I will catch y'all there. Wait, do it again, Mom. Are you kidding? Do, do the jerk. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> We're going to dinner. I'm playing good Christmas music. And it's not Taylor Swift. This isn't a Christmas song. It's about to be. I, it was on. This is not a Christmas song. Yeah, it is. Christmas, the Peace Project. Yeah, it is. I listen to this song outside of Christmas. Okay, well, this is a good song. This is. I worked out to this song today. Are you serious? I did. <laughs> Merry Christmas! Happy Holidays! Okay. Oh, okay. Where are we going? Focus! <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> Alright! there. Good morning. It's the next day. We didn't vlog at dinner. I didn't vlog when we got home. We stayed up till 1 a.m watching Yellowstone. If you haven't watched Yellowstone, you really should. It's so good. But we're on our way to breakfast with our grandpa. I think Nana's coming too, actually. Oh, they're already there. Oh, let me get you. We got everybody on it. Say hi to the vlog, Papa. This is what you're doing now, huh? This is how you're keeping yourself busy. All over your face. <laughs> it's just dry on your beard. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's just, it's just a picture. Got my egg on there. You can even buckle yourself now? I know, right? Progress. I'm really growing up. Good for you. Ashley, why don't you put air in your tires? I do, Lindsay. Obviously you don't. I did, and then they just went. I did, and it ended up taking air out. <laughs> I need to go to a discount. Or go to, um, have dad do it at a gas station. It's real easy. Or go to discount because it's free. I need sunglasses. You know what I really want? I'm gonna ask, I'm gonna tell Nana, I mean, mom, to see if they can get these when they go shopping. I want Nike blazers. Should I get the red ones Nike or the more? Sure. 
Yeah, probably the black ones. Yeah, I want something to post on my Instagram. I need a picture to post too, but I just like can't get myself to ever look good, so. <laughs> Do you still want a um, Lamar hoodie? Yeah. Can you just take the turns a little slower? Sheesh. <laughs> what? Ow. What did you say? I guess I want a Lamar hoodie. I sent a picture to Travis. They're like expensive on Amazon. They're like 30 bucks. Yeah. <laughs> 30. It's not expensive. Well, one of the ones that I like. But one of the ones that I like is like 60. I want a Carhartt Mini too. Oh what? A Carhartt Mini. I sent you a picture. Oh yeah. I in this car. Hi. Oh, you wear beanies so much. Well, they're really cute, and, and I it's so. I don't Texas. have any. I don't have any. So cold hair. Shut up. I don't have any, so yeah, I don't wear them. The ones I have are freaking pink and blue. I want a neutral color, like tan, brown, black. What is the what's the deal with like car heart beanies? Why why not just like just cute? A regular bean. I don't know, Lindsay. They're just cute. Okay. I have a whole list on Amazon. Go check it out. With everything I want. Well I already got you one thing. Hi. Hello. <laughs> Lake Clyde. Yes. Yeah, so, like, we are leaving the mall. Wait, St. Luke's Lakeside Hospital. Yeah. We're walking around the mall, and as I think I've shown, my hand arm is very swollen. My right knee is swollen. My right ankle is swollen. Don't know why. I just had a, a breakdown in Dick's Sporting Goods. <laughs> crying in the bike section. So, we're on our way to the hospital. Literally, what is my life? Just because, get this, my doctor said, oh, it's probably, you know, normal just because I got out of the cast yesterday. And he said, I should elevate it. Obviously. Obviously, I should elevate it, right? But I can't lift my arm because my bone's broken. So, <clears throat> there's this thing called DVT. Um, I don't remember what it stands for. Something vein, whatever, where you have a blood clot. He's only had three cases with it. If you know my medical history, <laughs> we would not be surprised if that's also what I had. But I also think it's just normal, so. But my mom here is, no. We're That's gonna, the first time that I've done the prolactin. Yeah, prolactive. typically she's like, oh, you're fine. And I'm the one like, it's fine. It's just really annoying and swollen and I don't know why. So we're gonna go see if we can figure it out. <laughs> so y'all could not have me be that parent anymore. I just wish I would have had my camera whenever I was crying in dicks. Why? Because yeah. I probably looked ridiculous. No, but Look at her. <laughs> it, you know, it looks like a cartoon, like an actual cartoon hand. <laughs> I'm so glad that I'm vlogging this whole ordeal so I can look back on it in a couple years. Like, oh my gosh. <laughs> It's her 10th of the year. That's a career high.
Long way to go in not much time. A ball. Of course. Quickly throws it in. Just give me 30 seconds. <laughs> 20 Arrow seconds. Plays this in for Mullen. 10 seconds to go. Marta has it roll out. Five seconds to go. DBU is headed to the final four <laughs> for the first time. In oh, Portland that's awesome. History. Their 20th win of the year, and it's the 200th career victory for Michelle. Oh, wow, wow, that's DBU awesome. Has defeated Seattle Pacific I need to see Michelle. Bigger boys. <laughs> the next bigger. destination for the Patriots is Colorado Springs as DBU is headed to the Final Four. I was thinking I'd let, let you let everybody know what we're doing in the hospital room. <laughs> you know. I'm just going to follow it to the main lobby. Off we go. Without permission. She did it all by herself. <laughs> Whip it around. Yes, we took it off without permission. We just sat at the ER for four hours. What time did we get here? How do you know? I'm pretty sure we got here at like 12.31ish. Only for no reason. No, it wasn't for any reason. It was to give you a peace of mind. To give everyone else a peace of mind. I got an ultrasound, which I think my mom or dad videoed. I don't have a blood clot, it's just severe swelling. We talked them out of putting a new splint on. I did not want a huge thing again, so we're still with this. And then we, where are we going? Actually walked out of the ER, like <laughs> took off all the pads, <laughs> the wires, and walked out and they're like, oh, well, we need your vitals before you leave and we have to wait for your negative report on your blood clot. I was like, what have you guys been doing? And they said, well, it usually takes 30 minutes, but it's been, oh, I was oh, like, an hour. an hour. We've been sitting here for an hour and not to mention there was not a soul on the floor. We walked out of our room and there was nobody, so. There's also like no cars in the parking lot, so I'm not sure what was going on. We're so hungry. <laughs> uh, it was awful. To the grown man that did this to me. If you're watching. If you're watching. <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> if you wonder if I hate you. I do. Yeah. I hope you see this and you feel bad and you help pay for my umpteen emergency room <laughs> visit bills and everything in between. Maybe peer pressure will get to this man. I don't even know his name, but I'll find you. <laughs> you should be sponsored by HEB. <laughs> You're here so much. I know, I am. <laughs> You're right. Um, okay, hi everybody. So I just got Lindsay's camera out of the car and I just wanted to give you an update. So today my soccer team won eight to one. That was super fun. And then um, I got home and TBH, I think my foot's been swollen for a while. I've just been ignoring it because I thought it was normal, but it turned to hurt really bad because I just walked down to the gym to work out and it was hurting. I didn't wear my boot. Probably should have, but like would have been swollen either way. I walked down there and it started hurting really bad. And I looked down, it's like super swollen, so I like did the elliptical. I was like, maybe I shouldn't be doing this. So instead I went to get candy from our front office. Ow. So I don't think I'm getting cleared in three days. Safe to say. Anyways, that was my time on camera. I'll see you later. We're back. And we have the sling off. Because I am allowed to do this. Just let my arm hang so I don't lose my elbow mobility. But I got a few packages while I was gone, five, and I thought I would open them, see what they are, but it's gonna be hard with my arm like this. So, we'll make it work. Black Friday happened while I was gone, so I got a few things there. This one's from Gymshark. You know, since I 
I'm just the avid worker outer these days. I wish. Yeah, I know that's gross, whatever. I think I got a pair of leggings and shorts. Can't remember. I can't tell if they're like black or green. I don't remember what I got. I think they're, I don't know. They kind of look black, but they're just regular, regular leggings. And then these are just some shorts. Ooh, I like the fabric. Just some blue shorts. I like the color. It's Amazon. It seems dangerous. Spirulina. I don't know what this is. It's always fun when you just like come home to all these packages and you don't remember what you ordered. Screw instant gratification, right? Oh, this is Sephora. Yay. Let's see. What skincare I got? Overnight dual solution. I remember this was on sale. It's a Sephora brand. Um, but it had good reviews. It's like glycolic acid and salicylic acid. And then the goat, Hyaluronic. Another Hyaluronic. And then this is just a hemp purifying oil. This was also on sale, I remember. And then I love that Sephora does their free samples. So this is a treatment enzyme peel cleansing powder. I don't know. Some Amore Pacific and Belief Aqua Bomb Brightening Vitamin C Serum. And I think that's it for Sephora. This one, Amazon. I think this is my vitamin. Oh yeah, my ashwagandha powder. This has been really, I really like it. Um, I notice when I don't take it, I haven't been taking it since I was home in the Woodlands. Um, it just really helps calm me down. Um, it's a superfood, so I'm a sucker for anything that says superfood. And this one's kind of big. Oh, Celsius. Love that. Oh my gosh, a big order. Peach Vibe and I think Kiwi Guava. This is the that was strawberry guava, I can't remember. But I need to put those up. Yeah, sparkling strawberry guava. And then this one is the best one, Peach Vibe. But yeah, so that's all the packages I got. Really not that exciting, but all right. I need to go unpack and try and figure out how I'm gonna shower and put my hair up for the shower. So, um, that's it for this vlog. Hope you guys enjoyed. I don't even remember what it was. My brain has just been going in a million directions. It's all good though. I'm gonna go watch an episode of Yellowstone unpack and get in bed early because I'm actually going to work tomorrow and I'm so excited. Never thought I would say that. And then I'll go back at the end of the week to Houston for another doctor's appointment. All right, well, see you guys. Next video.